today is a day of the partnership who are focused on safety uh, to talk about the importance of what happens in a work zone. I'm very proud of the fact that we've got construction zones all over the state of Louisiana. It's been a rarity in the state for some time to have everything from east to west. If you're on 210, if you're on I-10, if you're on I-20, if you're on I-49, north or south, you're going to see construction zones. You also see construction zones in rural parts of the state as well. And those are very unsafe in terms of the people who work there. If folks are speeding, if they're distracted, if they're drowsy, those are things that we want to bring attention to. Each one of these cones out here today represent one of 799 people that died in 2017. There are 11 cones of folks who died in Louisiana, not just construction workers, but people who are traveling through it. And we want them all to know that they could have been avoidable. They could go home with their families and live a much healthier life. And that's unfortunate for those families. Our heart goes out to them. But we're also concerned about those who are going to drive through these corridors. Thank you for taking time to be a part of uh, this very important safety coalition event. Um, Work Zone Awareness Week is happening right now, today, not just in Louisiana, but across the country. Other states, other departments of transportation are taking, taking advantage of this nationwide campaign designed to bring awareness to the men and women in work zones, people who are actually building uh, our way out of congestion for us and making sure our system is solid and, and is efficient. And so we want to acknowledge the fact that they don't have bumpers on. They have orange vests and hard hats and steel toe boots, and we want them to make it home safely at the end of the day. This year's theme is work zone safety. Drive like you work here. And I'm very excited to have released our video that highlights what happens when you're in a building compared to when you're in a work zone. Um, you don't have cars speeding by at 60 miles per hour when you're on the third floor of DOTD or the comfort of your office. But every day we have citizens who are doing that and this theme addresses that. Work zone safety. Drive like you work here. For the men and women in this industry, the roadways and highways are their offices. Every day when they go into work, they are putting themselves in potential dangerous situations by working on an active roadway. I had a lady on social media comment yesterday on LA-1 bridge. She saw an individual's uh, head sticking up through the joint or working there and she's going by 60 miles per hour. And she thought to herself how appreciative she was for those folks making that type of sacrifice in that environment. Behind me on this lawn that you see is a memorial. Each orange cone represents the life of a construction worker, a motorist, or a pedestrian killed in a work zone. So while we may focus on the construction workers there, we're also concerned about the citizens who are traveling through those work zones. In 2017, the year that we have the most up-to-date data on, a total of 799 lives were lost in work zones across this nation. This is a 2% increase from the previous year of 782. All of those fatalities, I believe, were avoidable. One of the biggest factors contributing to this work zone crashing is speeding. Roughly 29% of the crashes were caused by motorists not obeying a lowered speed limit as they travel through that construction zone. When a vehicle is speeding, especially in a work zone, it is hard for drivers to navigate through lane shifts, merges, closures, and other rough surfaces, and quite frankly, an unexpected condition. Here in our home state, there were 591 injuries and 11 work zone related deaths in 2017. And those cones are represented in the front of the DOTD sign with a black emblem representing Louisiana. Throughout Louisiana, you will see many work zones, both in rural and urban areas, because this department has worked very hard to continually improve and maintain our infrastructure. So from east to west, north to south, you will see construction zones, whether you're in rural Louisiana or in an urban area. Many of the fatalities and crashes can be prevented by one slowing down and paying attention and not driving distracted. All of our partners will bring you a very specific message, but at the end of the day, we can all agree, staying alert and giving your full attention to the roadway and not just those in-car distractions. Pay close attention to signs and work zone flaggers who've been trained to do their jobs safely. Obey the posted speed limits where in a construction zone they're typically lower than what you would normally expect. Only tailgate at football games and athletic events and not on our highways. Most importantly, do not drink and drive and always wear your seatbelt. And put the phones down. Drive hands-free if you have to talk on your phone. 
We urge motorists not to drive distracted and pay attention to the roadway conditions, not only for their safety, but for the safety of the individuals working on our roadways and traveling next to them. So let's all work together to reduce the troubling work zone fatalities and injury statistics that we have here in the state of Louisiana. Behind me are a number of partners that are going to come and speak to these issues of work zone safety from their perspective. First, we're going to hear from Wes Bollinger, uh, one of the most critical partners we have as the USDOT. He's the Federal Highway Administration Division Administrator here, uh, working on all of our projects. Uh, representing Louisiana State Police and Colonel Kevin Reeves, a cabinet member of mine that we have a great relationship with, is Taylor Scranch from the Superintendent's Office at State Police. And then last but not least, we have Lisa Freeman, Louisiana's Highway Safety Commission Executive Director. And they're going to come to you in that order. Uh, and then we look forward to taking a nice, bright orange picture with all of our partners uh, about work zone safety. So, Wes? Thank you, Secretary Wilson, for inviting me to speak this afternoon and on your continuing commitment to highway safety in Louisiana. National Work Zone Awareness Week is traditionally observed in the spring of each year, marking the beginning of our nation's highway construction season. However, thanks to Louisiana's mild winter, road construction can be performed nearly year-round. Therefore, work zone safety is a concern throughout the entire year. Work zones play a key role in upgrading and maintaining our roadways. Reducing crashes and congestion in work zones is a priority for the Federal Highway Administration. National work zone fatalities increased by 2% in 2017. We must do more to prevent these fatalities and injuries from occurring on our highways. As a driver, you must use extra caution in work zones to keep yourself and others safe. In short, Drive like you work here. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Trooper Taylor Scratch, Louisiana State Police, and on behalf of Colonel Reeves and the entire State Police family, we want to thank Secretary Sean Wilson and the entire Department of Transportation for inviting us to today's event. Uh, state Police works hand in hand with DOTD on construction sites and around the state, and we do so with safety in mind. Uh, the safety of construction workers and motors are a paramount concern. Uh, this is a personal issue for state police. Nearly 22 years ago, next month, we lost Trooper Hung Lee in a work zone related fatality. So this touches home, especially for state police. Uh, we're going to continue to be proactive in work zone safety, and we're going to continue our partnership with DOTD. And like I said, with safety in mind, and we urge motorists to always never drink and drive, always have your seatbelt on. If you do see a hazardous motor, call us. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Freeman and I'm the Executive Director of the Louisiana Highway Safety Commission. I am so honored to be here today. I thank Secretary Wilson and all of our partners, uh, state and federal, in bringing attention to the issue of work zone awareness. It also gives me a chance to talk with you about the stereotypical bad driver. Who is the bad driver? Who is that person? If you ask any law enforcement officer who interviews drivers in traffic crashes, that officer will tell you that the person considered to be the bad driver is routinely described as someone who came out of nowhere. The truth is that is not accurate. The truth is motor vehicle crashes do not happen by accident. Motor vehicle crashes happen for a reason or a combination of reasons. There are real and specific factors at the center of a motor vehicle crash. 94% of all vehicle crashes are caused by driver behavior. The problematic driver behavior can be speeding, tailgating, drunk driving, drugged driving, drowsy driving, distracted driving, or some mix of any of those behaviors. One of the biggest challenges that highway safety professionals face is how to convince drivers to change a behavior that could seriously injure or kill someone. That's especially true with distracted driving in work zones, where just a split second of taking your eyes off the road can have disastrous consequences. In a work zone, lanes are narrow, and construction workers and equipment are moving around. This is the kind of condition that demands every driver's full attention, full engagement. 
Handling a meal in a car, changing the radio station, or talking with a passenger while driving can all be distractions. And talking or texting on a cell phone is the most dangerous distraction. Unfortunately, many drivers today are incredibly comfortable with a cell phone in their hands and don't consider it a distraction. However, research shows that it is dangerous. In fact, it is so dangerous that distracted driving is the equivalent of driving while impaired. Unfortunately, in the last 20 plus years, we have seen an increase in deaths of people who are outside of the vehicle. In 1996, 20% of all highway fatalities were people outside of the vehicle. That includes pedestrians, bicyclists, motorists, excuse me, people in work zones. And in 2017, that statistic went from 20% to a record high of 33%. While today's cars are safer than ever before because of multiple airbags, better seat belts, crumple zones that absorb the impact of a crash, that still does nothing for someone who is in a work zone, especially if an impaired, an aggressive, or a distracted driver is behind the wheel. So, I ask all of you, when you drive through a work zone, to commit to behavior that amounts to the golden rule of driving. Drive like you work in that work zone. Drive like you work here, because someone does work here. Don't be someone who came out of nowhere and whose bad driving behavior causes tragic and devastating consequences. I thank you. So thank you to all of our partners who work all year long, not just standing here in the hot sun with us today, but for all of you for showing up and participating and being a part of this very important awareness effort. Uh, we would ask that you share it on social media, talk to your family, particularly your kids who are driving now, and encourage them to drive like they work there as well. Their moms, their dads, their uncles and aunts, even grandparents are all in those construction zones. And we want to love on them and be a part of their lives for a long time to come. So thank you for being a part of this event and helping reduce the number of crashes in work zones. So thank you very much. There's a uh, speeding penalty, obviously, uh, just a normal speeding ticket. But if it's a double fine zone, you get double the speeding ticket fine for that area. What is your message to drivers around the state 52 weeks of the year? Never drink and drive. Always have your seatbelt on. Obey the speed limit. And as always, if you see a hazardous motorist, call star 577. That's going to direct you to your nearest troop area. The message is be respectful of other people. Uh, all road users have rights and they have obligations toward other road users. And when it comes to work zone folks and personnel, clearly they are risking a lot to be in construction zones and in a very vulnerable position. So we like to say just uh, the golden rule of, of driving. It, it's as though you work where the work zone personnel is. And so be respectful of that, mindful of that, and act as though you work in that area. 52 weeks of the year, every day is important for safety. And when folks in these construction zones, you have the comfort. I go in the elevator and get to the third floor and walk to my office. I don't have to worry about an 18-wheeler or a car coming out of nowhere or a distracted driver. But folks who are going in a construction zone are going to have on an orange vest, a hard hat, and steel toe boots. And that's all that's standing between them and 2,000 pounds of vehicle going 60 miles per hour all year long. We're blessed to have great weather here so there's not a construction zone period in effect basically the last six months of the summer uh, or the middle six months where it's warmest. We can have construction zones every month of the year here and we need to be aware and alert of that. If people have questions like more information, what should they do? Uh, they should go to the DOTD website. They should go to the State Police website or the Highway Safety Commission website or a Federal Highway website. All of them are all carrying a message of safety in terms of how drivers use this effort. And so paying attention to 511 LA, looking at our message boards, looking at our PSAs. We're talking about safety all day long, all week long, but it's important for us all year long as well.